Hello, this is Miss Pudding, presenting some of the features of the recent Heroes of New Earth Patch 1.09. First, I'll introduce our newest hero edition, Flint Beastwood, a distant cousin of a certain dwarven sniper players may be familiar with. Flint's passive ability, Hollow Point Shells, gives him a chance to deal bonus damage and mini stun on each regular attack. At level 4, this skill has a 40% chance to hit, making it a suitable counter to channeling abilities, such as Glacius or Tempest's ultimate. Flint's first castable ability, Explosive Flare, deals immediate damage, slows, and gives sight of an area for 4 seconds. It's useful as a nuke and for defensive purposes, as here he forces anyone who chases his ally to walk through the flare and suffer a movement speed loss. Flint's other passive ability, Dead Eye, gives him a boost in attack range. At levels 3 and 4, he can even outrange a tower. Lastly, his ultimate skill, Money Shot, deals massive damage at long range to a single target. After channeling, once his shot is fired, it will hit even if the hero goes invisible. Money Shot can only be dodged by blinking or teleporting away. Here, we see how Flint would use his abilities in succession when ganking by himself. Just as Pyro starts running, he uses his explosive flare to slow and get a few extra hits in before channeling his ultimate. Now, onto the new boots, Striders. When out of combat, these boots will give you a gradual boost of 100 movement speed over 2 seconds. These are extremely useful for grabbing runes, placing wards quickly, and getting in position to gank or defend. Here, I'm playing Voodoo Jester. With Striders, I'm able to place a ward and grab the rune much faster than I normally would have. And it's almost like I'm running with haste and invisibility at the same time, quickly sneaking behind Armadon to gank. With the enhanced mobility of Striders, time spent out of combat walking between lanes is reduced significantly, making them an ideal early item for gankers and support players. Lastly, let's take a look at Tundra's new charge, Cold Shoulder. With up to 600 range, Tundra can now quickly charge into his opponents and boost all units' attack speed on the target. The charge and its effects also go through spell immunity, making it extremely versatile. And here I use it through one of Pharaoh's classic escape maneuvers, blocking a choke point with his mummies. My charge goes right through them with little effort. Finally, one of the most useful things about Tundra's charge is the increased attack speed on all units including myself. Here I use Avalanche followed by level 4 charge using puzzle box minions along with my summons to focus down Madman with a whopping 60% bonus in attack speed. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short overview and gained some insight on how you can use these changes to your advantage.